the lineal heavyweight champion, simply understood as this. And as he makes his way to the ring, stateside, and that prized label of being the Gypsy King, the Gypsy King has decided upon a unique entry. And his wife Paris watches on. And like a king would, he has decided to be undefeated as a heavyweight champion. This place is ready to roar. This black medicine, everything black. Everything you need, better believe you are that. Black excellence, black habits. This is always a significant moment for Deontay, and he has expressed it. We are set in a rematch. Wilder and Fury. Take Kate, the official beer of boxing. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC and lineal heavyweight champion. Introducing to you first, the US Olympic bronze medalist who is undefeated, Distinguished opponent across one draw with 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Tyson Fury! Again, I want to caution you to keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and when I say you must obey, good luck and touch him up. All right. There is beauty in boxing's simplicity. So after a year of debating it, after months of training for it, after a promotional tsunami that has hyped it, it's now just the two of them, opposite each other. The long lineal line, the WBC belt that has included Ali, the greatest of all time, they are set and ready to answer who's the greatest of right now. Wilder Fury 2, here we go. Andre Ward, Lennox Lewis, round number one, Dre. What's the big reveal early? It looks like Tyson Fury is sticking to his word. He's not moving backwards, he's moving forward. And he's forcing a man in Deontay Wilder who's not used to going backwards. He's used to push, pushing his opponent backward. Interesting first few seconds in this first round, and I want to see how it plays out. And that's true, and he's doing some really good things by fainting and not coming out straight with the jab. He's fainting, he's still doing that twitchy movement, which is good. Fury does so at 273 pounds. Trying to sweep across with a right hand as Wilder able to roll with it and get out of the way. Then probing with a jab to the midsection. Wilder comes in with a right hand. Tries to back him to the ropes. Dude. Six foot nine Fury able to get that big left arm up in the way of it. You know, Wilder's showing his right hand will go straight away. And uh, sometimes, you you know, you can't just go out there and just throw the right hand. There's punches you have to throw before that. Guys expecting the right hands. Plus, it's the first round. Remember how herky-jerky and awkward and all the upper body head movement and fainting we saw out of Fury. It does not show up here. Fury on the attack, going to the head of Deontay Wilder. And now coming in again, exactly like he said he would. Even though Fury is pressing forward and he's having success right now, Deontay Wilder still looking for the big hammer, the right hand to land on the chin of Tyson Fury. Most dangerous puncher in the game, Deontay Wilder. Fury trying to inch ahead. Showing a little bit of a feint. That was basically the first nine rounds of their first fight. The constant awkward movement and feints. And Deontay's taking his time. He's looking very poised, calm, collective, thinking, warming up in his first round, which he should be. They have talked about wanting to utilize the jab more, the camp of Wilder.
Wilder to the body. Here comes Fury, stepping into it. Good jab by Tyson Fury. Best connect of round number one comes in the last 10 seconds as he tries to chop down with a right hand, and Wilder backs up. And the good thing Tyson Fury is doing right now, he steps into the jab. Every time he keeps he's being pressed right now, he's staying under his legs. That didn't land flush, but it definitely definitely got Tyson Fury's attention. Here we see the jab. It didn't land, but it sort of blinded Fury just a little bit. And that right hand grazed the right hand of Fury. Obviously, Wilder wants to get that closer to the chin for more impact. And then here's the jab at the end of round one. Yeah, this is the jab where he steps into it, and that is good a good jab. He's, he's making it long and strong. In round number one, Wilder threw 18 punches, landed five. Fury threw 26 and landed eight. Remember, Fury's first time with Sugar Hill Stewart as his trainer. That was a good first round from Tyson Fury, pressing forwards, but doing it intelligently and smartly. And it was also a good round from Deontay Wilder to not allow himself to be unnerved and taken out of his game. He's staying calm under his legs, and he's still got that right hand cocked. He's, he's got it cocked, and he's, the movement is looking like he wants to take that step back before he throws that right hand. He wants to throw that right hand over Tyson Fury's jab. Let's see if that opportunity presents itself. There's another good jab from Fury. Wilder probing with that left hand. You never know when the right's going to come behind him. Fury able to close range with that left. There's a right hand by Wilder that comes in from long range. And then a jab to the midsection. A bigger midsection than we saw back in September. Fury at 273 pounds. Remember when they first fought, he was 256 and a half. Able to get out of the way of that right hand, and now Kenny Bayless will break them. If Deontay doesn't jab, Tyson Fury would jab. And, you know, Deontay shouldn't allow that, that him, he shouldn't allow him to jab before he, and him not jab him. So he should jab with the jabber. These moments are moments of inches. One mistake and the fight can be over for either guy. That's the beauty of a Deontay Wilder fight. Any given second, no matter where things stand, the fight can be over. Remember, Fury, in the entire lead-up to this fight, during the entire promotion, said, I'm going to knock him out in the second round. 45 seconds remain in the second round. Another jab off the hip. 6'9", Irish traveler, Gypsy King. Listen, when you tell a guy you're going to knock him out in the second round, like Evander Holyfield told me in the third, I was prepared for it, and I said to myself, he's not going to knock me out, and I'm sure Deontay's saying the same thing. Of your rematch with Holyfield. Much like the parables here, this is only the third heavyweight championship rematch in history after a draw. Stalking for a right hand was Wilder there. And trying to come in, but he goes over the top and Fury. They only get two of them and they take it through the belt into the neutral corner. Watch your head. So the warnings from Kenny Bayless, both to listen at the end of the round and to watch the heads. CompuBox stats are brought to you by Bet Fred. You see both men in the first two rounds with 10 jabs landed. In that second round, Wilder was 11 of 27. Fury was 8 of 27 on total punches. In that second round, Deontay was throwing that right hand, but he was throwing it from a distance. Fury comes in behind the jab. The right hand came behind the jab and then tried a short uppercut on the inside. 
He was also telegraphing the right hand. He's got to get closer to Tyson Fury before throwing that right hand. Big shot from Fury right sure there. Sure was. Top of the temple of Deontay Wilder. Awkward but effective in the first minute here of round number three. But the right hand of Deontay Wilder has a mind of its own. You never know what angle it's coming from, and you never know when it's coming. So Tyson Fury has to be alert at all times. All time great power. The highest knockout percentage of any heavyweight champion in history is Wilder now. 95%. But the big shots that Fury has landed, Deontay Wilder has taken them well. He's able to lock that right hand and try to land a right of his own on the inside. Boy, Kenny Bayless really has his work in front of him with these two guys. Yes, he does. And Tyson Fury is doing the right thing, too. All that weight, he might as well put it on Deontay. Make Deontay carry a bit of that weight. That's the whole get, point of the, the weight game. And get him tired a little bit. He is having an effective jab. And now comes in with a sweeping right hand. This is exactly what Fury wanted, to utilize the size and his strength to make it a different kind of fight. There's that jab again. Short right hand behind it. Let's see if they can work out of the clincher. Payless has to get involved here. Stop, stop. Leaning on Wilder. Oh, he puts a goal! Oh, Fury scores the knockdown in round number three. 30 seconds remain, and Fury has floored Wilder. Deontay looks a little shaky on his legs right now. That was a good right hand by Tyson. He said he would knock him out. He's going for it here in the third round. Wilder is down again. That is not Wilder's a getting up. He's still shaking. Kenny Baylor says no knockdown. Wow! What an explosive before right hand and the right hand goes right on the top of the head. Deontay saying, "What happened?" Well, that's the shot that Tyson Fury's been trying to land. This whole fight is a right hand over the top. He's landed it, but he didn't land it quite like that. That's the shot he wanted. That's the result he wanted. When he when he punched him with that right hand, Deontay's right foot slipped out from behind him and caused him to go on the ground. Punches in that third round. The most landed against Wilder in their two fights right now. Round number four. Does he get back after him? Tyson Fury is doing the right thing right now. He's not allowing Deontay Wilder to tie up without some resistance. If you tie me up, I'm going to hit you every chance I get. He's doing the right thing right now. Kenny Bayless admonishing both men, saying, I will deduct points. So Wilder hurt in round number three, a round in which Tyson Fury was able to land nine power punches, including the right hand that scored the knockdown. This is exactly the fight he said he would fight. Coming in big, coming in strong, pressing forward, and looking to knock him down. Off balance, that is a slip. That was a slip. Even that slip right there, no punch landed, but I guarantee you it takes a lot for a big man like that to get off the canvas. It shows you where he is. There's a body shot that came in that time. That was a left hand to the right flank of Wilder. How does Wilder look to you right now? Is he steady enough for you? Another body shot by Tyson Fury. This is a mauling effort from Fury so far. His legs look weak. He looks unsteady, but he's still dangerous. He can't forget that point. Yeah, part of the reason is Deontay's legs are far apart. They need to be closer together to keep his balance. So he's having a balance problem right now. He's having an equilibrium problem right there now. There is no doubt about that. And he's got a bigger man who every time they get to the inside is leaning on him. 273 pounds, six foot nine, and executing the exact game plan he wanted to. Tyson Fury has to be careful when he's coming in because Deontay's got that right hand caught. But you rarely see Deontay Wilder throw a counter with the right hand cocked. He's normally stepping forward with the big step and the jab 
right by, right in front of the right hand. From long range. He it's like a guy him. holding a exactly. rifle. Yes. But when you're smothering him, when you're running to the rifle, it's useless. And again, just leaning down with all that weight. It's taxing. It's draining. Everything Fury said he was going to do, he's doing thus far. Stop. 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 There you go. Stop Both that. guys have to watch their composure. You know, Deontay has to watch his composure, make sure he doesn't get all radical and all out of bent out of shape. He's got to keep his boxing position, his legs under him, and his hands up. Work out, work out, work out. You get all this hugging and grappling on the inside. It takes its toll. Advantage bigger man always. Good counter from Tyson Fury. Oh, Four rounds in the books, and Tyson Fury in slip. Even the trip can take its toll on Wilder. Deontay, Deontay Wilder got off balance. He tried to duck the overhand left, and he fell to the ground. That's partly because he was off balance and partly because he got tripped, and his legs aren't all the way there. But check this out. Getting that 231 pound frame off the ground, that drains you if you do that enough time. 100% what you're saying. Exactly. The point That's why to be people made, go timber. The point to be made there is at 231 pounds, it's a career high that Wilder oh! is dealing with. And look at this as he opens up the round on the attack. Fury's all stop, over stop, him. Stop, stop. Round number five. You heard Sugar Hill Stewart from the famed Brock Jim tell Tyson Fury to make this easy. He's ducking, so just faint and then send it. Chopping shot to the head on the inside. Wilder is holding on with that left hand. Bayless is going to look for another break. And you know Fury's going to come right at him, Lennox. Yeah, I mean, Fury's doing the right thing. Make it a make it a rough fight. Put that weight on him. Fling him around a couple. Make it a rough fight. Don't make it an easy fight for Deontay. But Fury is getting in there with that one-two so quick stop, for a man that's 271 pounds. It's a quick step. Boom, boom. Deontay Wilder doesn't have time to compute that shot. That has always been the thing with Tyson Fury. His physical stature, it belies his skill and his Let me tell you. And Let me tell you. knockdown is scored. A body shot to Wilder. Second time he's been down. Deontay does not look stable on his feet right now. Right hand hurts him. And grappling again. Halfway through round five, Fury has scored two knockdowns already. Oh! He's chasing him down. He's head hunting. We could have history made right here already. On the attack, looking to close the show. Wilder doesn't look good at all. Still just over a minute to go in round five. Gary's just missing that right hand, Joe. Look He's at the mouth of Wilder. It. Wide open and blood coming from it. Tried to get the right uppercut on the inside. Another right hand over the top. And this is looking too easy for Tyson Fury right now. Good body shot from Fury. Look at him wrap up that left arm around the neck and then laying on him again. The power punches this round. Dominating form, a big right hand reigns in again. Kenny Bayless is calling for time here. Oh. He's taking a point deduction when Tyson Fury is trying to close the show. So Deontay Wilde benefits of getting a break with the point deduction. Oh, absolutely. I mean, when the ref steps in like that, he's giving Deontay a little bit more time to recover. And, you know, Tyson Fury doesn't want this right now. But Deontay, right hand to the bottom. Deontay does not look stable on his feet. He looks a bit tired. He hasn't caught that second wind yet. Look at this rally to close out the round. Just dominant. And here Fury comes in again. And he's looking for the spot. Hits him to the body. 
Deontay was off balance there and still went down. Round number six. Watch for the equilibrium and the balance of Wilder with what we just saw. Right hand rings in. Wilder's hurt again, looking to wrap up. Here he goes to the body, trying to swarm him. I don't know what Deontay Wilder's feeling right now, but he's got to try to get a right hand in there. The same punch that made you famous, the same punch that got you here tonight. You've got to try to get one of those shots in to slow down the train with Tyson Fury. Leaning straight back is a bad idea. He almost got clipped again, and once again, just ragdolling Deontay Wilder, bringing him around into that red corner. There's a body shot. Right hand to the body from Fury. Deontay Wilder has to be careful when he's up against the ropes. And when he's up against the ropes, not putting his head down. Because a good corner man always tells his man, well, throw a combination, but end with uppercuts. Fury has had success with the body and then coming over the top with the right hand. Stop, 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 stop. Sometimes rematches are exaggerated forms of the first fight. In the 12th round, when Tyson Fury got up after the brutal knockdown, he flipped the switch. He said he figured something out. Step to him. Be big. Be strong. Take the fight. Go for the knockout. And that is what he has employed here tonight, and it has worked to near flawless perfection. Wilder, look at his face there, battered and beaten and bloody. Blood coming from the mouth, blood coming from the ear, and a 273-pound wrecking ball continuing to press forward. Tyson Fury is smothering himself after he throws the combinations. What he needs to do is take a little bit step back and then throw a combination, short punches. And now blood is spraying across our position here ringside. And every time they clinch with Deontay's left side going up against Fury, you can see the blood splatter all over Fury's head. He is wearing a lot of Wilder's blood right now. Blood continues to rain down from the ear. Fury continues to press in against Wilder. And Fury looks like if he lands a good punch, Deontay will go down. He definitely he, doesn't look What was he just feet. doing with his tongue right there? He was inside. He said in the lead up, I want to taste blood. I believe that's what he was just doing there at the end of six. Tasting Wilder's blood. That was outrageous. Yeah, Deontay Wilder's in a bad way right now. The left side of his jaw is swelling. It looks like his eardrum may be busted. He has blood coming out of his mouth. And his corner's not treating any of the injuries. They're just telling him to press forward. And when you have a reputation like Deontay Wilder and your team believes it, and they don't challenge you to get better in certain areas, it shows up like tonight. They're even in denial. They need to check on his well-being. Are, are you okay? Can you continue? And then start to coach you from there. True, true that. And the, the, the funny thing about it is he's got his left hand down, inviting the right hand by Tyson Fury, which has been quite accurate in this fight. Big mistake by Deontay right now. Keep that hand up. Keep that left hand up. None of his corner mates are telling him to keep his hands up, which is important. And another head-snapping jab from Tyson Fury. We always talk about how Deontay Wilder has the ultimate eraser. But you have to be able to execute on it. You have to have a delivery system. And right now, his appears to be short-circuiting. And there appears to be a hopelessness as this continues down the path of Fury domination. Tyson Fury did a great feint before throwing that combination. And this is what he's going to be doing throughout this fight. Fainting and then throwing that big right. Wilder. Just coasting back into that neutral corner. And now Fury's looking to split the guard as Wilder's in bad shape. This the fight they is over. This team three. There is only one. There is only one. Crown the king, the lone undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury.
Fury, the champion. Okay, Wilder was taking a lot of punishment. It was just a matter of time before Tyson Fury landed that shot right there. Stood Deontay Wilder up. He's taking a lot of punishment. That was a good stoppage by the corner. They did the right thing. They showed mercy. Deontay Wilder was getting ready to be knocked out. And here you see it. You don't just go back in the corner and hold up your hands and stay there because you're an open target. And Tyson Fury seen that, and he just came, rushed ahead with his killer instinct, just with a broad branch of punches, ended it. But to Wilder's credit, he didn't quit, and he wasn't looking for a way out. Here it goes, straight punch down the middle. 